This is Coastal Bend History. Sponsored by Oak Creek Homes. I'm Andy Luscano outside the 1914 Nueces County Courthouse. You know, this place has been abandoned since 1977, and yet the fight to restore it has been going on for 47 years. After Nueces County started using the new courthouse on La Pond, initial efforts to sell the 1914 courthouse were unsuccessful. For a brief time, the federal government considered buying the building and using it as the new federal courthouse. However, when they determined renovations would cost $7 million, they abandoned those plans. City of Corpus Christi was trying to sell the building for half a million dollars, but after a year on the market, the asking price dropped to $200,000. Investment group Cornerstone Properties put a $50,000 down payment with plans to lease out the building to commercial and government tenants and to fully restore the exterior of the building. A civic group known as Friends of the Courthouse, made up mostly of members of the Nueces County Historical Commission, succeeded in getting the state of Texas to recognize the courthouse as a state historic landmark. That made the building eligible for tax breaks and state restoration grants. It also prevented any alteration of the building's exterior. Many thought this made the restoration of the building a certainty. Unfortunately, just one year after Cornerstone Properties bought the old courthouse, they sold it. Local real estate developer Charles Bennett bought it for $250,000 with the intent to restore the 1914 courthouse to its original state. But in 1980, one month before the project was slated to begin, Hurricane Allen caused significant damage to the building. In addition, vandals and vagrants moved in and caused more damage to the interior. The project was delayed by a year and Bennett announced a new $60 million project that would include the construction of a 400-room hotel near the property and turn the courthouse into a retail and entertainment center. But by 1984, work hadn't begun, so the Corpus Christi City Council gave Bennett six months to start or they would condemn and demolish the building. Well, Bennett never began the project and by 1988 he had moved out of town and abandoned the project. He fell behind on taxes and was being fined $200 a day by the city in 1989. So in August of 1990, a judge allowed the city to file a tax lien on the building. In 1992, local philanthropist Dusty Durrell formed a nonprofit corporation called The Justice Building Inc. and acquired the deed to the property from Bennett, who still owed nearly $300,000 in unpaid taxes. Durrell built fences around the building and put up floodlights to keep vagrants out. So no planned work has ever been done on this building and controversy over desires to demolish it or restore it. Well, those were renewed in 1997 when the city paid $51,000 for a study to determine whether this building could even be saved. Well, the engineers that were hired discovered that the building is sound, but it would cost between 12 and $20 million to renovate it. Tell you what. If you'd like to learn more about this story or any of our other Coastal Bend history stories, just scan the QR code you see on your screen or head to our website, christv.com, and click on the Coastal Bend History tab. In downtown Corpus Christi, I'm Andy Lascano. We continue our look at the 1914 Nueces County Courthouse next week.